Hi. Hi. So Lisa with lisaemery.com and I am so excited because today, today you guys get to meet my mentor, Kate McShay. Um, and it's really funny because I don't know if you saw on my timeline, but we actually became friends this time last year. It's been a year. And um, so this is like super exciting for me. I'm going to invite her on here with us. Invited you. Hi, Christina, Laura, Debbie, Kylie, Mary. Thanks for coming on. I'm waiting for. There she is. Yay! Hi. Hi. I am so excited. Oh, and lots of people are jumping on. Great. Um, so I don't know if you got a chance to see my timeline, but we we became friends exactly a year ago on no Facebook. No way. Seriously. <laughs> yeah. This yeah, is our one year anniversary. I love it. I know. <laughs> that is so but awesome. I'm, I met you because of your program. That's how I met you. That's how you were oh, introduced that's to so me. so cool. And then yeah. now, and look, at, look at where you are now. Like, that is I know. so neat. <laughs> to say that it changed my life is like an understatement. <laughs> oh, gosh. Because Don't make me cry. I'm emotional today. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Me too. Okay. Uh, no, but seriously, it did. It's, and I know people say that a lot. I was thinking before I started. Oh, people say that all the time. But um, it really did. It, like, totally changed my path and, and what I was doing and, and oh, um, I love it. the people I'm around and just everything. So thank you oh, wow. so much oh. for that. So. Anyways, so most of you have seen my post about Kate's free video series training that's going on. Video three, right? Drops tomorrow? Video three drops tomorrow. Yep. Three drops yep. tomorrow. Video, yep. video three drops tomorrow. So um, I thought we'd bring her on here and kind of ask her a couple questions. Um, my Most of the people that I talk to are um, in network marketing, right? Nice. They're business owners. I love network marketing. <laughs> yeah. And so um, I was thinking that probably what they're, um, well, what they're looking for, right, is some of them do home, home parties. Sure. Um, they do online events. Um, so how, um, to me, what I was thinking is, is that they're probably wondering, is this something that's going to work for their business? Is, you know, how does, yeah. how, how does this work? Yeah. So. Sure, sure. Um, and then while, I, while I'm talking, feel free to comment in. Hi, Janet. I know there's quite a few other people that are popping on here, which is great. Comment in. Let me know who you are, where you're coming in from. Give a shout out to Lisa. She's so amazing. Um, just really, truly honored before I even hop into the home parties piece of it and how um, – this transition is, is very somewhat, it's actually somewhat similar and it's very congruent. Um, I'm just so proud of Lisa and everything that she's been able to accomplish in a year. Like to know that, well, that today's our one year anniversary, um, <laughs> <laughs> number one, but then to really, really, truly like soak that in and look at where you're, where you are now and where you were a year ago. It's like the amazing things that can happen when you know, you start like getting really clear and focused on our path and just executing on it. Um, so I think it's a great way to, you know, start talking about um, the transition that we made from because um, we were we were uh, building a network marketing business at that time. Now we have our own products and coaching program. And so we I, my, I fell into a different style of teaching and passion. Um, but that's where we started as we started in network marketing. And I love network marketing. I love the fact I love the people. I love the industry. I love the ability to have that residual income and, and build your own business from home, right? It's amazing. What I found that was really, really difficult um, and was almost like a stuck for me was the fact of the amount of time it was taking me to, to run and build my business. And so if you think about it, like for me, I'm a super coachable person. And if you guys are coachable people and you're those kind of people that are like, yeah, I'll do whatever anybody says, drop a one in the comments because I would love to know. Um, that we've got fellow coachable people here. And, and for me, it was like, you know, we were told to do home parties. We were told to, you know, reach out to our family members and our friends. At that point in time, I actually didn't do home parties because we had literally just relocated all the way across the country. I didn't know anybody. However, I did prospect. I prospect offline. I would connect with people that were pumping gas next to me. I would be at the mall. Tell me if you can relate. Like, put a little <laughs> smiley emoji in there if you can relate. Um, and so I did all of those things. Like I took business cards and dropped them in Barnes and Noble books, hoping that, you know, somebody might be able to, somebody might call me or contact me. Um, 
And, you know, every single waiter or waitress I had, um, I was making sure that I was hitting them up with my free samples. So, so, I mean, we did those things and here's the crazy thing. Some of that did produce results for us, right? However, when I started to get deeper into business, because I, I left my teaching job with no plan B and my intention initially was to build, um, was to just replace my teacher salary. Right. And so what ended up happening is when I started to actually do the numbers, right, I got interested in the numbers. I realized, and I don't know, Lisa, if this happened to you too, but it's like, all of a sudden I went, okay, I want to replace my teacher salary, um, which was, I think, I think at that time it was like $1,200 a month. Okay. So nothing astronomical, not like $10,000, $20,000 a month. Like I really just wanted to replace 10,000 or $1,200 a month. Um, and even judging by what I needed to do to hit those numbers, I started looking at my strategy and I started looking at, okay, I'm talking to people individually one-on-one -on -one, and on average it's taking me about 45 minutes to an hour to do so because I'm not great at, you know, at phone sales <laughs> at that time and getting people like actually inviting people, getting them to watch my presentation. People don't show up for follow-up calls. Right. So if I start looking at that and I'm like, I have to talk to even just to hit those numbers that I want to hit $1,200 a month, right? Not even 10,000 or 5,000. I had to be working and talking to at least like 30 people a day. Right. And I had to at least be working about eight hours. Like when I really did the time on what numbers I wanted to hit, and so for me, it was like, and even, and even then I came online and I was like, well, maybe if I start private messaging people and I start networking with people, and I'm, you know, approaching people one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and I know Lisa, you've talked about this before that does it work? Absolutely. Right. Things are recommended are recommended are recommended because they work. However, it's all about, for me, I got into this business for, time freedom for, I don't have kids yet. However, that was my main driving force was that I wanted to be a mom who could be home with my babies. And I was watching myself almost create another job where it was like, I was not going to be creating time freedom for myself. Like Lisa, can you relate to that? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's, um, it's an interesting thing, you know, and if anybody else can relate to that, where you feel like, you know, I got into this business to build the freedom, build, you know, the, the desire of wanting to be able to do what I want when I want, drop a two in the comments. Um, and then if you've realized that, you know, it takes time to do this, to do these kind of approaches. So when we talk about the home party thing and like, well, will this work for me? Because I'm used to home parties. I'm used to offline methods. Here's what we so I always think when I think about business, I think about how can things be transitioned to new vehicles? So what I mean by that, okay, what I mean by that is that offline methods, right? Connecting with someone at the mall, connecting with them, their cold market, one-to-one, -one, right? New vehicle, Facebook. You can prospect people on Facebook. You can message and have a converse, conversation with someone who's cold market prospect, right? Transitioning the vehicle. So when we started to think about what could create more time freedom for us, what could close more sales for us, what could we do that creates that, you know, actual massive spike and like more prospects, more sales, more enrollments. Um, it became very clear that again, think of the vehicle, home parties work, right? Live events work, trade shows work. They work because you're getting a mass amount of people in at one time to share your and have one person share their business opportunity, right? One person do the presentation and then everybody else signs up and it's the same thing. And now you just transition the vehicle, right? It's like you're hosting. I like to call them online events. Other people call them webinars. Other people call them master classes. Other people call them training workshops. It doesn't matter what you call them. All right. I think a lot of people freak out a little bit when they hear the word <laughs> webinar, like they're like, Oh, yeah. right. Make it a happy. Like it takes a, like it takes a special skill, right? Yes, exactly. Like it takes a special yeah. skill. They hear the word webinar and they go, oh. instead, think of it like this. I'm transitioning my vehicle from instead of having to like have a place where I have to have my home clean and I have to like invite people over. I have to spend money on, you know, maybe hors d'oeuvres and I have to make sure that people show I get to do this in my PJs. Or I get to do this in my, so I have like my dressy top on, right? But I have like my yoga pants on. And, and so Me you too. Can, right? And you can do.
do these trainings and, and it's like, call them. I like to call them online events cause they're like a happening. It's meant to be fun and it's meant to be a process that you can utilize and you can also utilize with your team. So, so absolutely. Is this something that can work and be transitioned? Of course, because you're just transitioning the vehicle and you're just transitioning the platform with the same concept. Yeah. All right. So, um, Let's see. So what about people maybe that I was looking here to see if there's any questions. Um, what about people that might say, well, I don't really have a lot of results right now. You know, am, oh, I, yeah. am I going to have enough authority to host an online event? Sure. And thank you for bringing that up because I think for me, um, and the reason that we've created this training series is because we waited way too long to do these. Um, like way, way too long because of that question. Like, well, I just don't have the results that I see this person over here, right? Hosting these, um, these dreadful webinars. Like I don't have their results. So how am I supposed to run one of these? Well, um, in video three, actually that comes out tomorrow, I'm going to be sharing with you what I like to call the 15 minute hosting hook, um, where it's literally going to talk about what you think, <clears throat> excuse me, what you think are your, um, like aren't results or lack of results or, you know, like you haven't produced anything in what you're training on, how that can actually be an asset for you. So stick around for that. But for today, what I can share with you is that the interesting thing when it comes to hosting these is that you actually don't have to have results at all. The, what you have to be good at is you have to be good at thinking about three things. What, are the ideal people that like, I would just love to be around and build a team of, of all of these powerhouse people or build like this customer base of people who I just like adore, love to get emails from, love to get Facebook friend requests from versus like hiding because you don't want to connect with those people. Right. And, um, thanks so much, Susanna. She says great content ladies. Yeah. Um, <laughs> awesome. Yeah. If you guys are getting value, definitely drop in some emojis. Maybe those, what are those hand pumping ones? <laughs> I know you fist use pump. emoji. Yes. For fist pump. You use those more than me. Um, but so you want to pick out when you do a really good job at picking out who would be like the perfect business team for you or the perfect set of customers for you. And then you answer these two questions. What are their biggest pains and fears, struggles, um, objections, and then what are their biggest dreams and desires in life with that pertain to your product or your service or maybe building a team, that's when you actually don't even have to have results to be like, I'm going to, I'm going to be that person that, you know, is a six figure earner or anything like that. Then all you have to get good at is telling story and connecting to maybe somebody else in your company that's gotten results and you just tell their story really quick. And here's the other part that I love, and I'll give you a little sneak peek into video three, is, <laughs> yeah, I know, fun, right? You, you get to be, so, so I'll show you a slide where I totally make fun of myself, and I use this in presentations, um, and it was a time where I was posting my business opportunity link, if anybody can relate, all over, this is so terrible, top <laughs> seven and eight figure earners fan pages on Facebook, and I was like, join my opportunity. It's amazing. Join my opportunity. Cause I thought I could like steal some of their traffic in the beginning. I didn't know any better. Um, I got a message from, a, like a very good friend of mine now, a top seven figure earner in the space and goes, stop spamming your links on my page. Well, we, <laughs> <laughs> terrible, but we saved the image. And what it did is I put it in the presentation and it makes me human. So if you're one of those people that's like, Oh, well I'm doing a weight loss challenge, but I, I haven't gotten enough results yet right? I haven't gotten mm -hmm. enough results yet. If you've lost one pound or if you, you know, lost one inch or if you feel healthier from it, you've gotten results that somebody else wants, right? And it's okay for you to be like, you know, here's me. I'm actually, you know, I'm, you know, 20 pounds overweight or I'm not super happy with my body and how I am right now. Like be authentic about it, be vulnerable about it and say, but here's what's cool. All right. After taking action with the three steps I'm going to share with you on this training, I've actually been able to feel more confident, feel more comfortable, and I've got a really good friend who's able to get these results, and so now I'm excited and I'm fired up. You don't have to have these big results for people to to want to listen to you and want to follow you. That's just all inside our heads. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, I agree. Um, yeah, and one of the things that really helped me, I, I love the way you break that down about all you have to really focus on are what are their struggles, pains, right, and, yeah. and objections, and what are their wants and desires. And, and I know you guys have heard me say that a gazillion times <laughs> because it was once I heard that from Kate <laughs> and that's what I focused on, that's what it made a huge difference. Yeah, um, and that's and in one of the – the examples are in video too. So I was just going to say there's too. some, okay. yeah, really good examples and video two is already open. So your people can definitely hop over there. And so it's a pretty in-depth training. Um, so that could be really, really helpful. Yeah. So if you want to get access to the videos, if I haven't given it to you yet, just comment access below and I'll make sure and get you the link so you can watch them. Cause um, Kate gives some great, great um, trainings. I was telling people that um, one of the things I love about your trainings are how you can take something that for me seems so complicated and overwhelming. I don't know, I'm not supposed to use that word, but you know, <laughs> and, and, <laughs> and make it simple and actionable, like, yeah. you know, and, and I, I attribute that to the fact that you're a former second grade teacher. And sometimes you talk to me like that. And I probably I need that. So it's okay. <laughs> sometimes I need it too. <laughs> But I do think sometimes we get so hung up in that, I don't know, can I really do this? And um, right? sometimes it's just, yeah, just breaking it down. And Okay, good. We're getting some access here. I like it. Do you guys have any questions for Kate I while know. we have her here? <laughs> Why not, right? Yeah, ask away. Yeah. What do you guys think? Any questions when it comes to this method of, and you know what, and while, while they're commenting in, I think one of the positives and the reason that we really made this training and so this one's interesting because obviously it's like I want everyone to work smarter versus harder. And if I can have you guys work less time in the week and focus in on like one big event and then get to the point where the event is just running on its own and you just direct your team to it and close sales, right? It's really neat. However, the other side of it that I think a lot of people forget about is, um, and this actually just happened to one of my other students, um, called me up and said, I'm in a little bit of a bind and I don't know what to do. I need your recommendations on like, how do I get myself out of this bind? Right. And so the bind is, um, you know, her water heater broke and it was a $3,500 water heater that she needed to have fixed. Um, her daughter had had to have some sort of like emergency surgery. I think it was on her tonsils. And she's like, I'm literally 10 grand like in the, like in the red right now. And it was all stuff that I didn't expect to happen. And I asked her cause I wanted to know, cause honestly a good mentor or a good coach is not necessarily going to tell you um, exactly what to do. Right, Lisa? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's not like you need to do this. <laughs> we asked questions. And so I said, well, what do you think you should do? And she's like, well, you know, I've got this whole list of people and I'm going to call 25 people a day and I'm just going to like hammer the phones. And I said, hey, that's a great option, right? And, and yes, I, I suggest you do it. However, I suggest you spend half of your time on that and then the other half on strategy, right? On strategy of creating something that creates leverage for you. Because what I know will happen is that, especially in binds like that, where it's like, I need cash back calling people because I just know your average like time frame where it takes to connect with someone, build enough relationship, build enough rapport, mark, like share what you have, have them say yes, get on a, another call with them, mm -hmm. close them into whatever it is. That's going to take time. And so if you have like a week and you don't have any more time, that's why these online events are super, super powerful because they, they give you the ability when your back is up against the wall or when you're in a bind. And we've been in plenty of those where it's like, all right, I'm going to host an online event and we're going to, you know, market out this product or we'll sign people up into our team or whatever it is and we'll just make it happen. And that's what creates almost less stress, right? It's less stress when it comes to feeling like you have to build your business and you're not going to be constantly grinding for the rest of your life. That's kind of, yeah. you know, how I feel about that stuff. Um, let's yeah. see. J Janet said price objections. Um, so how do you have, so cool thing with online events if we, if we stay in that area with price objections, and you can actually use this um, really in anything, in any kind of presentation you do, um, one of the biggest things that we add in to what we do for online events are bonus incentives, right? And here's the neat thing. If I can give you guys 
advice on anything at all. And I think I finally realized that I was meant to be um, in this entrepreneur side of things because I used to watch infomercials every Sunday. Like, <laughs> and I don't know what it was, but like ever since I was little and I would just like zone, I thought I was zoning out, but I was really soaking in all the sales process, right? So I suggest watch infomercials because their sales process is so powerful. So what do they do, right? They offer out the product, then they offer out a couple of bonuses, right? That, that stack up that value. Uh, one of my mentors calls it value stacking. So Janet, you like stack up the value, right? And then you add in these like fast mover bonuses. So it could be like a personal one-on-one -on -one kickstart call with you to like get set up with your team or a kickstart call with one of your teammates to get, you, get them set up. Um, it might be you hopping on a call with them to develop their 30 day action plan. And so adding in that time, but that's only for people who buy before, you know, midnight or people who buy before a certain date. So you're creating this frenzy, this, this perceived higher perceived sense of value because it is. And what you do is you kind of get that price point up higher. So then it becomes an absolute no brainer for that person to make that buying decision because they're like, look at all the things that I get. Um, and the biggest things when it comes to bonuses that people want are these things. So they want a way to get results quicker and faster. All right. So when you're thinking about developing bonuses, this can be really helpful. Um, they want a way to get results quicker and faster. They also want someone to hold their hand in the process. Um, those would be the biggest things. And then the third thing is urgency. Right. So what can you create or what can you give away that lets them do things faster? Uh, what could potentially what could you potentially have to give um, personal time? Right. That gives them, again, a quicker, faster result with you. And then the third thing is what makes it so urgent that they have to buy? Like, do those bonuses disappear at midnight? Um, is it only for the first five? Is it, you know, only an October special? So you kind of have to look at it like that. Um, that's one of the biggest things. And I've found that for most people, when they have that incentive and they see those, those elements, they're, they're going to buy. So that is some incredible value that she just shared with us here right now. I'm kind of wishing I was taking notes. I don't yeah. know about you guys. But <laughs> Sorry, Lisa. That was, <laughs> that was really good. I like it. Nice. I love that. Um, awesome. All right. So um, let's see. Do we have any questions? We still have people jumping on. Um, I don't want to keep you too long because I know that you have to head out. I do. I, I have, have another back-to-back -back Facebook Live. <laughs> <laughs> Christy says, is awesome. Thank you, Christy, hey. for watching. Um, yeah, well, I want, just want to thank you so much. I know how valuable your time is. So thank you for coming on here. And, oh, you're um, so welcome. Teaching us. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I know everybody got lots of value from that. So, And remember, if you, haven't, if you ha don't have access to the – video series yet comment access below and I will get you the link nice. I love <laughs> it, it. All, right. <laughs> all right well thank you Kate yeah you're so welcome Lisa appreciate you and then appreciate everybody who came on live who's gonna be watching the replay and just know that you're in such good hands with Lisa um, the knowledge that she has everything that she's been able to do in this past year is just amazing um, to me and so know that Continue to keep following her. Continue to keep doing everything that she says because she's, she really understands it. And she's got that it factor on, on being able to understand the process but also execute it. So you guys are in perfect hands with Lisa, okay? Great. Thank you. You're Thanks. so welcome. All right. I'll Thank see you. you soon, Lisa. Bye. Bye. Bye, everybody. So, guys, was that valuable? Did you get lots of value from that? Kate's amazing, isn't she? All right, so even if you're watching the replay, be sure and comment access below um, and let us know what you thought of today's training with Kate, okay? I will come by later and definitely say hi. Let me know where you were watching from. And um, if you comment access, go ahead. If you're just popping on, go back and watch from the beginning because Kate gave some great, great tips today. Not just nuggets, she dropped some bombs. You guys might need to go back and listen to this again because <laughs> there was some real value in it. So, And um, Janet, if you have more questions about like what you can offer as far as bonuses go, 
um, you and I can talk about your business and come up with some things because there really is no matter what business it is you're in, whether it's health and wellness or beauty or travel or anti-aging, there is always something that you can offer people that you probably don't even realize that you have. Um, so, and maybe we'll talk about that a little bit tomorrow too. So thanks so much for watching. Again, if you just pop it on, go back and watch this from the beginning because there's some incredible, incredible information in here. See you guys tomorrow.